It's cool because I'm here at Lotro. Lotro is the manufacturer that made my trailer. See if they'll sponsor me. <laughs> Twin Rivers Hall Shot. It's pretty cool. This is a low trail yard. 2024 low trail step deck. This is nice. It's got the uh, spot right there for the spare tire. Uh, it's got a rack right here. It's nice, man. Battery tender right there. This is gooseneck. Uh, look at these heavy duty chains, half inch chains. These things are nice. Big hook. I mean, Load Trail does very good on their powder coating. That is one thing that I've noticed. This is a 10 foot deck on top. It's got the uh, underbelly toolbox. It's nice. So I'm taking it, this is a, a 43 foot deck and then 10 up top, which makes it 53. They do have these nice pull out ramps. I mean, this, this trailer is just nice. Low pro, it's low pro, so it's probably a 32, 32 inches off the ground. It's got the sliding winch rails. These are nice. Look at this. Valkyrie hubs. These are disc brakes. You can see the brakes right there. Hutch suspension, and this is a heavy duty suspension. I love Hutch suspensions. These are 15K axles. Like I said, Valkyrie hubs. I mean, you could tell, just look how, I mean, these things are just meaty. Hutch suspension. It's got the middle one right there. And then of course, it's got a couple back here. Look at the these ramps. These ramps are really nice. I like the way they're doing this now. So look, they put, welded this piece on here. And then uh, now they got the hooks that clip over on the handles, flip over. These max ramps are really good. Uh, you can ride with them up, like lean this up. And you connect the bar from here to here and they'll uh, stand up. This thing is just nice, man. Really nice. A new logo. I like low trail, I like the craftsmanship on them. I mean, the powder coating on these, look at the D-rings welded on for uh, equipment. Just a very, very nice trailer. Right here, you got the toolbox for these are for your disc brakes. Anybody that wants to get into hot shotting, this is how you do it right here. Get the military loads. It's got a nice little dunnage rack. Nice little dunnage rack and then uh, another toolbox up there. This trailer is very, very nice. One thing that I have noticed, I do give honest reviews, is this uh, stamp right here, powder coated tough. Low Trail does really, really good on their powder coating. I've ran a couple of PJs. I've ran Big Tex trailers. And after a year, they look like they're five or six years old. And that's the good thing about Low Trail is their powder coating is one of the first things that I noticed. And it, I mean, it's just really, really nice. This is a very, very nice trailer. I have been doing hot shotting since 2019. If I could redo my setup, I would. I did not think outside the box. What I mean is like that 53 foot step deck. That's huge, man. You make your money on deck space. You don't really make money on weight in hot shot, it's deck space. Getting the load, putting another piece with it and this and that, 53 foot, that's 13 more feet than what I have right now. So what, 25 more percent? I got this truck and take it from me when I tell you, this truck wore out fast. I've already redone my transmission and I've already redone my motor. 
you know, I got 290,000 miles on my truck. I would go with a more medium duty truck, a Freightliner sport chassis, something of that nature, or even a semi. I'm looking at semis right now because, you know, this truck wearing out as fast as it did, it, it, it's alarming. And I try to give honest feedback on this channel, man. Think about it, think outside the box, man. If you're in a position to where you can do that, go with a more built truck that's for this, it's for the miles, it's for the wear and tear. Because one thing for sure, these trucks, it doesn't matter what Ford, Ram, uh, Chevy, they wear out fast, man. And you make money off miles. Be set up for the miles. So, you know, if I could redo it, I'd go with a more medium duty truck or even a, uh, a, a single axle semi and one of those 53 foot steps, man. That's the ultimate hot shot setup. And leave me a comment, man. You guys agree with me? You disagree? Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.